This portion of 10, sponsored by Hatfield Quality Meats. On Super Bowl Sunday, there are three things that are very important. The game, mm -hmm. the commercials, mm -hmm. and the food. Uh, the food is what we're going to help you with right now. In fact, we have expert help from Hatfield Quality Meats. Mm. James Brisson is here with three easy, fun, and great-tasting foods that you can try yourself. Hey, James. Hi. Thank you very much. This Thanks is it's, it's a Super Bowl for football, but it's also really big when it comes to food, if you're having a party especially. Food, I think, is the star of the game, to be quite honest with you. Of course you do. But exactly. so, does, so does everybody else. Exactly. And so you want to have good stuff. You've brought along some great ideas. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we did a couple things here. We did a stuffed portobello mushroom with uh, Hatfield quality bacon and Hatfield deli choice meats. Mm -hmm. Then I did some stuffed mini Yukon gold potatoes and red skin potatoes oh, with wow. bacon and... Um, cream cheese mm -hmm. and goat cheese and Wait then we did a little that. Cuban panini sandwich right here um, mm -hmm. the typical uh, panini using our deli choice roast pork and ham what distinguishes a panini? Uh, p panini is basically a pressed sandwich. So as long as it's grilled. pressed. Grilled. And, uh, pressed and grilled, and always you have to put a lot of Hatfield ham in there. Ah, Makes it the best. I th these are all pretty smaller items, too, so you can try a bunch of different things. The, the idea this year was sort of a tapas kind of idea. Smaller little bites, but you can have many small bites. I love it. So uh, we can graze throughout the whole game. Exactly. And you're going to prepare for us pork sliders. Yes. Most people use beef, ground beef, to make a, a burger or a mini slider, but we at Hatfield, we, we love to use our our ground pork. Mm -hmm. Are there advantages uh, to that? Yeah, it's um, actually it's a quicker cook time. Um, it's already spiced, all ready to go. Um, and you simply just mail them up in, in small little two ounce portions. Um, so let's create one. Here, here is one of those patties, yes. right? Yes, and you just pad them up. So does it come like this? or No, you, we, take, we take our one pound sausage roll mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you can either slice it off the roll or you can put it in a mixing bowl and pat it up yourself. Ah, nice. All right, so go ahead, drop that in for us. So we just drop that right in the right in the pan, mm -hmm. and we have some uh, other sliders right here um, that are ready to go, um, and we can take one right out of the pan. How long did it take to cook? You said about six to seven minutes. All right. What's interesting too, if you look at that pan, there's not a lot of grease here. This is lean meat you're dealing it's with. It's very very lean. It's about seventy to eighty percent uh, lean. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a very, very lean cut. Nice. Um, Where'd you get those dainty little buns? This is actually uh, from a local <laughs> baker that you can <laughs> see in the grocery store all the time. They just came out with these. They're whole wheat slider They're rolls. Wheat? Wow, that's yes. perfect. A little healthy for you. Put yes. a little cheese on top. And of course, our hat filled bacon. Mm -hmm. And then we can finish it off with a little. Um, little toothpick with some uh, olives right on top? Exactly. And I think there those you go. would be really popular at any Super Bowl party. Exactly. And then you can put dipping sauces around it, whether you, you're a ketchup or a ranch dressing fan or whatever you'd like. Wonderful. Now, do you guys have a number one seller when it comes to Super Bowl Sunday? I mean, is there one thing that people want to have on their party list? It's our ribs. The ribs? Our fully cooked barbecue baby back ribs. All right. So now, how do we get these? Do, they don't come. They, they, they come they're like fully, this? They're fully, fully cooked. cooked. All you do is you... Put them on a foil lined tray, wow. put them in the oven for about 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Yeah. You take them out and they're ready to go. That, that might be the ultimate football food then. It is, it is. There's so little to do. Exactly. All you, you need to have, have is the napkins. The napkins. That's all you need to And provide. a big appetite too. Yeah, too. And maybe a bib to catch any of the <laughs> I got it. sauce coming down. I, on got you. It. I don't know if you noticed, but our audience is smiling, especially so for your sliders here. And also for any time you mention Hatfield, too, because I, I think they're hoping some food comes their way. So we'll, 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 we'll do that. You can, well, you can work. Oh, great. I think, actually, you, you've already arranged for it. The yes. good thing is you're also going to give away a Hatfield cooler and a coupon and an yes. apron to members of our studio audience Everyone as well. in our studio audience. That's pretty good. Thank James Preston, thank you so thank much. You thank you very much. Happy Super Bowl party. Thank you. We'll thank be right you. back with more of the tension. Of course, the recipe on our website, NBCPhiladelphia.com.